welcome back to my channel and if you are new hi I'm V and I do videos on hair makeup reviews and tutorials I hope everyone is having a really great start to 2023 of course we are starting off with a hair tutorial before we begin with the tutorial I just want to take a second to show you guys the lovely jewelry that I chose from Ana Luisa for the month of February new pieces are released in limited batches every Friday so there's always something new and trendy coming to their collection I find it super fun to always have something to look forward to kind of like a happy surprise every Friday when new items are added you just never know what you're gonna get for February I decided to choose pieces that are more dainty and romantic something that pairs super well for Valentine's and for my birthday combined I'm changing my Instagram feed to be a more soft romantic aesthetic and I feel like the pieces that I chose will really reflect my theme my first piece is the lacy a dainty 14 karat gold on recycled sterling silver necklace with a fresh water pearl it's chic but in a modern way and is gorgeous on its own or layered with a bold necklace. I love how delicate it looks and the pearl size is perfect to make a statement but doesn't come off too bold. It's subtle and elegant and I can totally see myself wearing this often when I'm going out for drinks or a romantic dinner with my boyfriend. To go with my romantic aesthetic I also went with the Nina heart earrings. I love the subtle but flirtatious design to these earrings. The heart charm feels secure and the metal band perfectly snugs my under ear. None of my pieces have ever broken so I feel confident in the quality of these earrings. For a more bold statement earring I chose the Abbey. The best way to describe this pair is a glossy contemporary design that adds class to any outfit. It's surprisingly lightweight and doesn't make your ears droop down. I picture myself wearing these going to the office or going to lunch with friends, pretty much anything that's casual. And my last piece from my February collection is the Alina mini hoop earrings. I tend to forget to style this third hole because I never find the right piece to complement my main earring. The main thing that I really like about this earring is that there's no backing for it. They're a bit tricky to slide in which makes me feel confident that they're not gonna slide off on their own and it's the perfect earring to keep in all the time even when you're sleeping. It's a little bit red when I put it in just because I don't wear earrings on this ear hole very often and I think this is going to really help me with that. These are my new favorites from Ana Luisa. Make sure to give them a look. I have a promo code for 20% off so make sure you check the link in the description box below and embark on your journey towards sustainable jewelry. Um, I have not dyed my hair probably since maybe November. I know I posted the video in January, but that was like old footage. So this is basically what my hair has faded to. It goes from my natural roots to this kind of like in between blonde and brown because I did used to have quite blonde hair before. The hair dye just kind of like brought it down to this. It doesn't look bad or anything, it's totally fine. I'm just kind of tired of having this like two-tonal hair, especially that my root color is kind of like right where my bangs are, so it just kind of looks like my hair is divided into two. Not really that cute. I'm kind of over it. I am just ready to kind of go back to having dark hair and keep it for a little while. I'm really busy with like career things, relationship stuff. So just good to have one straight color. Maybe I'll go back in the summertime, but this, this has got to go. So today we are going ahead with the Wella Colston Perfect 471. This is the shade medium brown. I've used this products before. This was the last kind of product that I used when I dyed my hair, but I went for, I believe it was a seven, which is a little bit lighter than what this is. This should be relatively dark because it is a four, not entirely black. So, but it should be pretty close to what my root color is. This is a permanent color cream. Last time it lasted me maybe like a month or so. If you've been following my channel for a little while, then you know that I absolutely love Wella products. So that is why I keep going back to their line. I have tried the Color Touch series before and I find that they don't tend to last as long, which is kind of like the point of them. I do prefer the Color Charm series, but unfortunately my hair salon, kind of like your Sally's, Matt and Max, a place where you get your professional hair dye. They don't have the color charm dye, which is really unfortunate. So we're going with the Call Stun Perfect. If you wanna see how this turns out on my hair, then please keep watching this video. Okay, so welcome to the tutorial portion of this video. We're gonna go ahead and start. First thing I'm gonna do is brush my hair, make sure I don't have any knots. I'm gonna divide my hair into two sections. That way it's easier to paint and it's not gonna be all like clumpy and uneven. I like to start pretty much like right behind my ear. And then I'm gonna go ahead with a plastic clip that I don't care if I get it dirty and just clip it back. 
Okay, so this is a one-to-one -one ratio. So it does actually say to pair the Coolstone Perfect with the Wiluxon Perfect uh, developer. Really handy that I just have this uh, with me. It is also by Wella. The small bottles, I find that I just go through them way too fast. This is just like a lot more efficient. So this is two ounces of the hair dye. So then I'm gonna go ahead and do two ounces of my developer. In my plastic mixing bowl, I do have these little ridges on the inside that tell me um, measurements. So I'm gonna go ahead and measure the two ounces of developer in here. And also another thing, I do recommend that you wear gloves because this dye will stain your skin. I know that I will ruin my nails if I do not wear gloves. And now this is what it looks like together. I'm gonna go ahead and just give it a really good mix. So I'm kind of excited, my boyfriend is on his way. Um, back from New York because he has to move his stuff. He's gonna be the first person to see my hair, hoping that he gives me a good reaction. I'm going straight to his place when this is finished and I'm gonna wait for him there. Okay, so I think this third is now pretty well covered. Now I'm gonna go ahead and release another, probably like another third, because that was definitely not half. Another third section of my hair. And just in case the color is a little bit different than my root color, I'm gonna bring the dye a little bit higher up. All right, so I am pretty well coated. How long does it say? How long does it say? I have to rip this box apart to get the full instructions. How long do they recommend? First thing I see here is do not exceed development time stated. And I'm like, where is this? Okay, I've looked at this whole package and the tube. Nowhere does it say how long you're supposed to leave it on for. Normally they always do. I mean, by default, I always leave it on for like 25 minutes, but like generally it's, I just wanted to know this time how long to actually leave it on for. Like, it should be obvious. I'm gonna leave this in for 25 minutes and uh, rinse it out. Ooh, I'm gonna clean up all of this dye that I have all over the place while this is developing. Anyway, so see you in 25. <laughs> Okay, so this is how my hair turned out. It's been a couple weeks since I dyed it initially. So I think it was like slightly more black when I first dyed it. Every time that I do wash my hair, there is like a little bit of pigment that does come out, which is pretty normal, I guess. I'll have to do some kind of like hair locking color treatment or something like that. But you can see here, it does have like a little bit of shimmer of brown. The ends are slightly going back to brown. Um, I think this is the area that I kind of missed. You can see that it's a, just a little bit lighter. But overall, in general, it's pretty much the same color as my roots going down. And I'm, I'm absolutely in love. It's so gorgeous, but yeah. It's very dark and that's exactly what I was going for. It seemed to have just gone through my hair very easily. There's no really like uneven or choppy areas. Really just the area that I missed, that's my own fault. Everywhere else is really well distributed and it's really pretty. I love having dark hair again. So yeah, this is how it turned out. Um, what do you guys think? think does darker hair suit me better I kind of think it does it looks a little bit more natural I'm really happy to be back to my roots and just to have this more like bold color going I'm really happy with this um, it's a lot less maintenance than having kind of like a blonde balayage having darker hair just makes my eyes and like my smile pop more I feel better I feel more like myself having this dark hair so what do you guys think let me know in the comment section below remember that I also have the promo code for Anna Luisa, so make sure that you check them out so you can also have some beautiful jewelry of your own. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!